Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and Apple has just released iOS 17.0.3. Now this is a small update, but it's a really important one. So in this video, we're going to talk about this update and I will show you guys how and why you actually need to immediately update your device to the new iOS 17.0.3. Now, first of all, before we get into all that, this update, as I said, it will be a bit smaller, so it will come to your device around 400 megabytes. That is, of course, always different on different devices and different based on which software you have currently installed on your iPhone. So once you get the update on your device, it will be pretty straightforward, just like usual. You need to update your device. All you have to do is go to your settings, general, of course, software update. And if you don't have the betas enabled, then you will get iOS 17.0.3 here. If you do have the betas iOS 17.1, of course, you're not getting this update, but don't worry because iOS 17.1 beta 2 has just been released yesterday. So all the important fixes that Apple has released with iOS 17.0.3 are most likely already included on that update. So if you're on iOS 17 beta, make sure that you have updated your device to iOS 17.1 beta 2. So why is this update really important? As you probably have heard in the last few weeks and days, a lot of people are reporting overheating issues with the iPhones. Now, a lot of them have been from iPhone 15 Pro users, and there was a belief that it, this is actually a problem with the new A17 chips, or basically is being caused by the new titanium frame of the iPhone 15 Pros, but it looks like it's actually not just isolated to the iPhone 15 Pro users. It looks like this overheating issue is going on on other devices as well, because we also had reports from iPhone 14 Pro users that are experiencing the same problem. So basically, overheating of the device. That means that the device, of course, once it overheats, it will have a really bad impact on battery, and battery life and of course performance as well. So Apple has promised, they have acknowledged this problem, they have promised to release a fix and then we have now the fix, iOS 17.0.3 has been released, it was expected to be released to actually fix this problem. So all you have to do if you're experiencing that problem or even if you're not, make sure you update your device to iOS 17.0.3 just tap on update, you're good to go. It will be a small update, probably install in a few minutes and you're good to go. So make sure that you install iOS 17.0.3 today on your device. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and I will see you on the next one.